All right, welcome back again. So um, hopefully you've seen my box opening of the Biddy Pops for The Mandalorian. This video, we're going to be opening up the Biddy Pops for the original trilogy. So just like The Mandalorian, there were four sets, um, three characters that you know, one that you don't. So the random is much uh, different in this, where we had four just different versions of Grogu and the others. These are going to be four different individual characters. We'll get into that in a minute. But in terms of the characters that we know, um, like the first set, the Moff Gideon in the first set with the Incinerator Trooper and the Dark Trooper, that would be the one if you're going to be chasing these mysteries. That would be the one that I would get multiples of. Um, so this is the one that I would be doing that with for the original trilogy. We got Darth Vader, a Stormtrooper, and um, a TIE Fighter pilot. So again, two that work very well as multiples. And I don't know, you probably can't ever have too many Darth Vaders. So this is the one that I would be going for multiples of if I end up chasing the mysteries. So um, that's one box. Then we have uh, nice, nicely themed in these two, I think. Um, so we've got Princess Leia, R2-D2, and C-3PO. Then we've got Han Solo. Chewbacca and Greedo. Now with these, because the, these figures have been out for much longer, the boxes are all different colors. They're the same color as the box that they're representing. And then we have Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and a Jawa. So um, the Mandalorian set had a Jawa as well, but it was called an off-world Jawa. This is just a Jawa. All right, so now for the randoms. So for the randoms, we have a hammerhead down here in the bottom. That's a one and three. I really want that one. Tusken Raider, one of my favorite, um, you know, I don't know, ancillary characters from Star Wars. I love Tusken Raider, so wouldn't mind. I definitely want that one. Grand Moff Tarkin. This one I really need to get. <laughs> I, um, I, I really like uh, Grand Moff Tarkin. And the other one is, I believe, a Silver Stormtrooper. Um, that's probably the one that I'm least worried about. So if I got these other three, I'd be perfectly happy um, with that. And I wouldn't worry too much about the Silver Stormtrooper. We'll see what we get. Um, so let me put these back out of the way. I'm going to save Luke for last. We'll do Han and Chewie, then Leia. So we're going to start with Darth Vader, the Stormtrooper, and the TIE Fighter pilot. Okay. And again, just look at the boxes. So the boxes for these are all the same, it appears. Um, so they all have the same characters on the sides and the back. Everything's the same. Again, looking to hopefully use some of these as um, initiative tokens or objective tokens for games. All right, so I'm uh, initially going to not look at the top of the mystery one because that is going to give it away. So we'll keep that a mystery for a little bit longer, although I'll probably look at that before I actually open it. I, I'm, I'm not that crazy. So then we have the TIE Fighter pilot. Stormtrooper and Darth Vader. I mean, if we could figure out the uh, which mini it was from the top of the Grogu boxes, obviously we're going to figure them out for these. So there's our um, frame again, display stand, which again, I appreciate. I, I like that a lot. So we'll start with Darth Vader here. In the black box. So I, I believe this must be a more recent um, version of the Darth Vader pop. He's numbered 509, so he must. this must be an older one. But I do like the black box, so I think that's appropriate for Darth Vader. 
and we'll look at the mini quickly. So they definitely went with the shiny finish for Darth Vader. Um, in A New Hope, um, Darth Vader had a much more matte finish to his helmet. And he did have red eyes. I don't see any red eyes here. I don't see any difference in the eye color. But he does have his red lightsaber out. Very nice. Again, you can never have too many Darth Vader's, right? Just one of those characters. Alright, now Stormtrooper. So the Stormtrooper, actually, so this is um, only one digit up from Darth Vader, so they must have been in the same release. Um, he's 5'10". So, interestingly, the Incinerator Trooper had black painted up underneath his helmet. doesn't look like the Stormtrooper does. So there's the Stormtrooper. I do always like the blue highlights on the side. A lot of people don't realize that those highlights were blue. Now, they, um, those highlights are oversized on these figures, so... It pops a little bit more. But that uh, is canonically accurate. He's got his blaster. Again, it would be nice if they had um, underneath his helmet painted black, but small detail there. I like that. My guess is that's how he was painted in the pop version. Or the full Funko Pop version. And then we have TIE Fighter Pilot. So this is from a different series. This is only number 51, so this was an earlier pop in a blue box as opposed to the black box. We'll look at the mini quickly. So he does have um, some chest detail there. He has the Imperial emblems on the top of his helmet. Uh, I will say, the, the helmet here looks a little bit squarish, if I'm to be honest. Um, but, nice figure. I like it. Alright, so our first random, and we'll be able to figure out who this is just by looking at the top. Um, again, I'm not someone that holds things tightly. We got the Silver Stormtrooper, the one I was least um, interested in, although I will say it is a 1 in 6, so that's good. It means there's probably a little bit more value to it, um, which means there's more potential for me to be able to sell or trade multiples. So there it is. It just says Stormtrooper on it. So this is a number 296. Yeah, I, I think my chase is Tarkin for this set, but we already have a Silver Stormtrooper, which is also a one, by, one out of six. So let's look at the figure. I guess the reason why, you know, I know these pop, um, Funko does these, does lots of figures in a, either an all silver or all gold finish. I'm just, I'm not a huge fan of that. I'd rather have the character, um, you know, look, you know, be painted more like they would have been in the movie or the show. Now, if it was actual silver, that would be different, but it's just a silver paint job. So, I'm not going to be sad that I got that, because it is one of the harder chases. So, if we got that one and Tarkin, I'd be very happy. Alright, so next, we'll get into Princess Leia, R2-D2, and C-3PO. So, it looks like the Princess Leia is coming... Um, from that later set, because that's 512. 
Um, R2-D2 is from a little bit earlier with the blue packaging is a 31. C-3PO is the earliest one yet at just number 13. So possibly the original Star Wars um, release is what they modeled this after. For C-3PO anyways. So again, I'm going to try and at least not give away the mystery mini right away. Let's see if we can lift that out and put it off to the side so that we don't spoil it. Although, you know what? I, I kind of spoiled it for myself because I can see through the bottom. I don't think the camera picks it up too well. You might be able to figure it out. I'll say it's different, so that's good. So here's Princess Leia, obviously a New Hope Leia with her buns, hair buns, and um, the white outfit and the blaster, the most classic Leia. I like this, this simpleness of the back with those just Star Wars logos on these. You can actually see her belt there. That's nice. I do like this figure a lot. I, I, I love a new Hope Leia with the buns. Just so classic and iconic. And th I think, you know, outside of Darth Vader, that's probably, you know, just one of the most iconic looking characters. When you see that hairstyle, you know it's Princess Leia. You know it's Star Wars. You know, if, for named characters, anyways. Obviously, Stormtroopers and... Things like that are right up there, too. And if I were to only get one Princess Leia, that would be the one. All right, so R2-D2. I do like that they uh, did the blue box for him because it, it really goes with uh, his color palette, which... I would assume is probably was probably a factor in this. I don't know how many versions of R2-D2 they've done. Maybe this is the only one. I highly doubt it. Um, I would think that they would have done other R2-D2s. But again, I'm not a hu huge pop fan. I don't know a lot about pops in the entire line. So his head, I mean, he's a pop. So his head is oversized. Um, looks a little bit strange, I guess, but I, I guess in terms of pops, that's what you would expect. But I do like it painted all the way around, even the details in the back that if, you know, you're like me and you leave it in the, in the box, you're not going to see that very much. Yeah, I, I really like the fact that they put them in the blue box version, though. And C-3PO, again, this must be early packaging for him. So it's got some black highlights with red, looks like. So that's interesting. So take a quick look at C-3PO. Again, there shouldn't be too much now. I'm trying to tell, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they, they made his right leg silver, so which is appropriate canon. Um, it's a little hard to see, but it is, you can kind of see it there. His right leg is silver. So that's good. They at least got that. That's one of those details that is hard to pick up in the movies. So um, I believe this is a one in three. I I think this is going to be the hammerhead, which if it is, I'm very happy because I do want a hammerhead and it is. So I didn't realize I could tell from the bottom as well. I 
I I mean, if he wasn't a one and three, he might be my chase um, for this. But Hammerhead, again, this must be an early one with the blue box, low number, 37. So as you can see, the randoms on these are all very unique. I like his hat there. He's got a belt. I don't know, a hat or a scarf or something. And a belt. Very nice. I like that one a lot. That's cute. Happy I got that one. So, so far, two different ones. Let's see if we can do better than the Mandalorian set and get at least one more different one. And so now, um, possibly my favorite pack of all of them, so just because it's a very iconic one. We've got Han Solo. We have... Uh, who's number three. So that's the lowest box number that we've got in this whole set, I believe. So he's number three. We've got Chewbacca, number 63. And Greedo, who's actually number seven. He's going to be the second lowest number. Again, th those numbers only refer to their original pops. Not that these models were made after, not by any sort of mini pop numbering. I do think we may have a duplicate on that. I'm going to angle it off so it's a little bit harder for me to tell. I do think that might be a duplicate. All right, so let's see what we got here. So we have Han Solo. So this is a New Hope solo, so I like that, with his classic um, white shirt, black vest, blue pants. Very nice. Now his shirt is, is a little bit more on the yellow side here. Um, which might be, it, it, I always think of it as being white. Maybe it's a little bit more off-white. But definitely has a little bit more of a mustard or yellow tone to it here. Actually, his pants, I don't think they are blue. They are more gray. So I'm not sure about the colorings of all everything here, but looks good. Alright, now Chewbacca. Alright, this one looks pretty cute. I have to say, it looks like he's got his crossbow on in there. This is a very cute one, and he does have his crossbow. And his bandolier does go around the back. Very nice. Those things that you're not going to see otherwise. Look at that. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny little screw holding them in there. Interesting. I wouldn't want to be the person on the line putting that screw in. All right. Then we have Greedo. Who did not shoot first. He actually didn't even get a shot off. Interesting. The box looks more blue than green, the figure. All the way around. But the figure itself is green. Now, with Chewbacca and Greedo, it makes them look like a child version of themselves. 
in this. I do like the outfit though. The outfit looks pretty accurate to what Greedo was wearing in the cantina. I like it. I like Greedo. I'm glad I got him. So I have a feeling we've got a duplicate coming here. Which is to be expected, but also a little unfortunate. Um, now I'm saying that and you might be able to guess what it is, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's another hammerhead. So hopefully we don't get a third hammerhead. That would be very unfortunate. Hopefully we get something different in the next one. So, yep, there it is, another hammerhead. All right, last box. My favorite character in Star Wars, Luke Skywalker. Um, old Obi-Wan. And the Jawa. So this Jawa has the, the classic brown robes where I believe the off-world Jawa has kind of a olive or dark gray robes. Once I get them out, I will, before we're done here, we'll compare the two Jawas from the two different sets. So, I'm not sure. I don't think this is a hammerhead, but otherwise, I can't tell. We'll leave that till the end. If it's like the Mandalorian and we get a um, another silver stormtrooper, that won't be great. Unless he's valuable or something. Which I don't know. I have no idea what the secondary market is for these types of things. So there's a New Hope Luke Skywalker. Now, so this is a later um, model, number 511. But it does have his um, white, um, I don't know, what do you call it, tunic or his white clothes, his Tatooine outfit. Looks like he also has his binoculars there. Um, that he used to try and look for uh, R2-D2 when he ran off. Now, interesting with this, it looks like the picture, the clothes are very white, but it looks like the actual miniature, they're more off-white. Interesting that they have the color difference there. Definitely looks a little bit more off-white. It's a little hard in my light here. Something else I need to work on is my lighting, but... I just do this for fun and for... You know, my own, my own fun and to hopefully give a little bit of knowledge to everybody. I, I like Luke a lot. And again, he is my favorite Star Wars character ever, so who knows? Maybe I would get a second one of this one. Now, Alec Guinness, Obi-Wan. The Obi-Wan. At least for my generation, the Obi-Wan. I know some of my friends are going to see this and they're going to say, Ewan McGregor, but not from my day. I, I like this one a lot, actually. I, I like the hood. The hood is some nice separation from the head, and he's got a little bit of hair hanging out the top there. He has his blue lightsaber going. I, I, I like Obi-Wan. Hmm. I like that one. It's nice. That's actually a little surprising that I like that one that much, I think. All right. And then we have the Jawa. The just plain old generic Jawa. So we'll take him out. The 
the package. So there he is. This is definitely the more classic Jawa with the the brown outfit. I believe the other one had a knife. This one has the um, I don't know the stun gun or whatever you want to call it, the EMP gun helps him capture the droids I like that one. So I'm going to just put him down. I'm going to put him right there. I'm going to grab the other Jawa here. Oops. It fell right out of his box. So this Jawa has red eyes. This one has the yellow eyes. So I definitely prefer this one. Prefer the New Hope one. Um... Again, I think it's interesting that they made them, you know, called them something different, off-world Jawa. Um, I did think it was odd in the show that um, the Jawas um, were on a different planet. They don't seem like the spacefaring type to me, so I don't know how they got to another planet. And I don't know if Tatooine is their native planet either. So, yeah. Just one of those Star Wars oddities that we have. Alright. So I don't really know what this one is. Um, I don't think it's the Hammerhead. Um, it could be the Stormtrooper. I'm trying to think. There's also the um, Tusken Raider. I would like to have that one. Um... And there's Grand Moff Tarkin. So if I had a choice, it would be Grand Moff Tarkin. I wouldn't be upset with the Tusken Raider, though. Um, I wouldn't be tremendously happy with this another Silver Stormtrooper. But, um, you know, who knows? Maybe that Silver Stormtrooper is worth, you know, $15 and I can sell it and then purchase my... Grand Moff Tarkin. So let's see. Ugh. It's a Silver Stormtrooper. That's unfortunate. So both of these, I got two out of four. Ugh. I would like to have gotten at least three. So a little bit of bad luck there. So there's the Sto Silver Stormtrooper. So I have two of him now. Um, I'll be looking him up later. And decide what to do with him. So again, I really like these. These were definitely a um, a good purchase. Um, I would recommend them if you're looking for something a little bit different that doesn't take up a lot of shelf space. Um, again, I'm going to try and use some of these as um, as tokens for games, including initiative tokens for um, Star Wars Unlimited. But Thank you very much. Try and get this kind of into place. You know, how I might have it for future videos. Um, thank you very much. Have fun gaming. And we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.